it really cannot be said enough. Diane Feinstein is absolutely terrible. She is just awful. She should have retired two years ago, but she's still there and she's still showing everyone how terrible she is. And she's not just terrible. She's a stupid person because we all know that Mike Lee, Republican senator from Utah, tested positive for COVID-19. And as far as we know, was still contagious when he showed up in person to the Senate confirmation hearings for Amy Coney Barrett without a mask. He then interacted with Lindsey Graham. They were very close, speaking to each other, and there were times when his mask fell below his nose, thus exposing Lindsey Graham. And then after that, what does Lindsey Graham do? He goes and hugs 87-year-old Dianne Feinstein. Now, why would Dianne Feinstein allow someone who just exposed themselves to COVID-19 to then expose her, knowing that at the age of 87, it would be very dangerous for her to get COVID-19? Because she's not very bright. Not very bright. I know that you might think, Mike, you're just being petty. You know, uh, you're just bitter because she was, uh, you know, being nice to Amy Coney Barrett. But you've got to understand that Dianne Feinstein doesn't have a spine, and she will do anything to appease the Republican Party, but it's too far in her career to just outright switch parties. So, you know, she she plays on their team, and she loves the Republican Party. So, if she has to expose herself to a highly contagious, deadly virus just so she can give Lindsey Graham a hug when all of you can't even see your loved, one, loved ones and hug your loved ones, uh, that's what she's going to do, because she's a stupid fucking person. Um, now... The reason why we're talking about her is not just so I can express my hatred of Dianne Feinstein because Lord knows she is fucking awful. Uh, but the reason why we're talking about her is because in the process of Democrats trying to expose how illegitimate this process is to confirm Amy Coney Barrett, rush her through before an election, she has undermined everything that Democrats were trying to do, destroyed the narrative that Democrats were trying to craft. It's all her fault. And there needs to be repercussions for this. She needs to pay for what she did. And there are activist groups who are calling on her resignation from the Senate Judiciary Committee. She's in a leadership position and she should no longer have that role. So as Igor Bobik of HuffPost reports, Senator Dianne Feinstein showered Lindsey Graham with praise as the confirmation hearings for Supreme Court nominee Amy Coney Barrett wrapped on Thursday with little drama, standing in sharp contrast to the contentious and acrimonious hearings from Justice Brett Kavanaugh that nearly blew up the Senate in 2018. I just want to Thank you. This has been one of the best set of hearings I've participated in. Feinstein, the top Democrat on the Senate Judiciary Committee, told Graham, thank you so much for your leadership. She's saying this to Lindsey Graham. The chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee, who angered Democrats by abandoning his 2016 vow not to confirm a Supreme Court justice in a presidential election year, then embraced Feinstein in a hug. Notably, neither wore a mask. While Feinstein echoed other Democrats in opposing Barrett, the top Democrat on the committee took a more conciliatory tone throughout the hearing, welcoming her warmly as questioning began on Tuesday. It is wonderful to see you here, Feinstein told Barrett. Democrats reacted to the 87 seven-year-old senator's handling of the hearing and her praise of Graham, a top Trump ally who was on the ballot in November with anger and dismay. Quote, it's very hard to watch a colleague in decline. That this is occurring publicly is even harder, said one Democratic senator who spoke on the condition of anonymity. I'd like to know who said that. Brian Fallon, founder and executive director of Demand Justice, a progressive judicial advocacy group that urged Democrats to play hardball during the hearings, went further by calling for Feinstein's removal from the Senate Judiciary Committee. Quote, she has undercut Democrats' position at every step of this process, from undermining calls for filibuster and court reform, straight through to thanking Republicans for the most egregious partisan power grab in the modern history of the Supreme Court, Fallon said in a statement. And I am very, very thankful that this group is calling for her to resign, because if uh, Democrats take back the Senate, she's in a position to become the chair of the Senate Judiciary Committee. No, that cannot happen. That cannot happen. Um, now, I want to share the uh, a little bit more from the statement that We Demand Justice put out because it is really blunt and I love it. They say, quote, it's time for Senator Feinstein to step down from her leadership position on the Senate Judiciary Committee. If she won't, her colleagues need to intervene. Yeah, so I love that, but I'll take it even further. Um, she needs to resign. Uh, she should have resigned two years ago, but 
we don't need you to wait until 2024 to resign. Just resign right now because uh, you are in bed with the enemy. Step down, resign, or just switch teams. Become a Republican. Show everyone your cards because you're functionally already a Republican because you're helping them at a time when we really, really need Democrats to find a fucking spine. But of all Democrats, you have been the most egregious. The most egregious. And honestly, I get even more pissed off at Dianne Feinstein when I think about uh, a couple of years ago, she literally yelled at children who begged her to take action on climate change only to then show up to this sham confirmation hearings and uh, praise Amy Coney Barrett and uh, ask to be introduced to her children. Judge, it's wonderful to see you here. Also with the family that I have been observing, <laughs> they st sit still, quiet. You've done a very good job. I have eyes in the back of my head so they oh. know I'm watching. I was wondering if you might introduce us to them. Sure. You know, I think that Dianne Feinstein only loves Amy Coney Barrett's children because they're being quiet. But if they were to ask her to maybe please save the planet so they have a future and maybe they can live to be as old as her, she'd probably tell them to fuck off. This is a terrible human being. And at this point, with that egregious display that we saw from her, I wouldn't be surprised if she straight up voted to confirm Amy Coney Barrett. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, she has done fuck all for Americans. She is worse than most Democrats. So would it be that surprising for her to confirm Amy Coney Barrett in spite of the fact that, I mean, we see out in the open how there's this giant multi-million dollar dark web of money as explained beautifully by Sheldon Whitehouse being spent at the behest of this tyrannical opposition party who is hell-bent on radicalizing our entire judicial system. I mean, she she is assisting them in this process. She is the enemy. So, I mean, it can't be said enough. Dianne Feinstein is absolutely terrible. Fuck Dianne Feinstein. Fuck her. Beta male, not a beta male.